Every year, hundreds of people are affected by the occurrence of natural disasters. Although earthquakes correspond to only 9% of registered natural disasters, it is the event that has the greatest capacity to affect infrastructure, to have economic impacts, and to cause human losses. Earthquakes such as those that occurred in Valdivia, Chile in 1960, and Sumatra, Indonesia in 2004, or the recent event in Haiti in 2010, led to major humanitarian crises, with fatalities of more than 220,000 people, more than 2 million people that lost their homes and an estimated cost of losses between 3 to $6 billion. It is for this reason that our team of data scientists, making use of seismological stations worldwide, have made available a series of tools that will allow users and government entities to be informed in case of the occurrence of a seismic event. Various data sources were used like consuming APIs, obtaining CSVs and acquiring information through web scraping, unified in a single database, validating our information. To carry this project out, a structure was developed in the cloud using Google Cloud, BigQuery and Google Scheduler. The structure contains functions in charge of obtaining information from different sources, passing it through filtering and validation processes, and uploading it automatically to a cloud database. Google Scheduler allows the automatic execution of the different functions independently, guaranteeing the continuous operation of the design scripts. In addition, a second local architecture was developed to run Airflow as a workflow orchestrator on a series of Docker containers that have a Postgres database linked to them. This database is fed daily through the script supplied by Airflow. One of the products developed is a website where the user can find updated and historical information on seismic events. The website contains recommendations and informative data. A machine learning model was developed to classify earthquakes in terms of the threat they pose, all illustrated in a location and classification map. Likewise, an API was deployed with information collected from sources such as the United States Geological Service, the Japan Meteorological Agency, and the National Seismological Center of the Chile University, among others. This tool will allow the users to carry out more advanced queries and develop their own projects. Additionally, an early warning tool is being developed, where interested parties can receive notifications in real time on their mobiles, in case of a seismological event happens. If you are interested in knowing more about our project and products, do not hesitate to contact us and check the repository of this project. Below in the description of the video you'll find the link to the available products.